What are you currently binge watching? The Wire. Haven't seen it before, and want to know what all the fuzz is about. She i i i Psych. You know that's right. I know. You know. That I'm not telling the truth. <laughs> the Expanse. One more season to go. Oh way after that. I was told I'd have to turn in my nerd card if I didn't catch up. The Expanse. How FKNG awesome is that show? Not sure what up with the negative comments. All of it is a slow burn, and when it catches up to itself it's the best. Red vs Blue. You ever wonder why we're here? Hate Sarge, it's a puma. The Boys Amazon Prime. Epic series. Season 2 needs to hurry up. Hunter x Hunter. Fuck yeah just rewatched it. That's my shit underscore that and Berserk, Manga only, and Jojo. The Berserk anime is just so bad. The 90s anime is pretty great tbh. Great British Bake Off. I'd like to give Mary Berry hash brownies. You on Netflix. Oh no. It's the real life Truman Show. Seriously though. What's it about? It's about a guy that becomes obsessed with women and stalks them. It's pretty good. It's probably the most binge worthy Netflix original that I've seen. It's not even a Netflix original. They adopted it from Lifetime TV. Donald Trump is president. The world is currently on hiatus because of a disease with the same name as a Mexican beer. And Lifetime made a show I enjoy. Reality has no rules anymore. Daredevil Season 3. Such a damn shame Disney put the kibosh on Netflix making any more Marvel stuff. Charlie Cox is such a good DD. As much as I want to believe that. It was the other way around. Netflix didn't want to pay Disney for the rights to basically advertise Marvel properties. Disney would have been happy to let them continue at least a few more years until Disney Plus was up and running fully. Now if those shows come back, they need a home. I think the more adult Marvel shows are going to Hulu. It's not confirmed. Gossip Girl. Got. I love teen dramas, but couldn't get into that past season 1. It's lots of talking. 99. 9% talking. I started the season 2 premiere, and they spend the entire episode discussing things we haven't seen that happened over the summer. If you're a screenwriter, show. Don't tell. Oh goodness hopefully it doesn't confuse me when I get there lol. I'm like halfway through season 1. And I love teen dramas too. I just binged the first two seasons of Skins. Don't like the second gen. And next I think I'm gonna watch The Vampire Diaries. You should watch the 90,210 reboot. Maybe I will. I'll check it out. Mr. Robot. It's on Amazon Prime RN and holy fuck it is so good. You will be so happy you spent the time watching it. I promise. I'll check into that. What's it about? Main character is Elliot. An introverted hacker with a drug problem and hazy backstory. He works for a civil security firm and hates major corporations and the injustices of the world. He has a matrix-like call to action from a hacker group called Society to help orchestrate a hack to eliminate consumer debt, like Fight Club. Through his interactions with Society, he rocks the boat and pisses off some big bads and law enforcement and crazy stuff happens. The real story is about Elliot's character development and how he learns more and more about himself, his past, and his relationships with others. I definitely recommend this show. It's not for everyone but, if you can get hooked on season 1. Binge through S2, it's a bit slower and confusing. You'll love the final payoff. Parks and Rec. I know I'm late lol. One of the most rewatchable shows ever. Death Note I'm not into anime, but one of my friend recommended to watch this. Hey peeps suggestions are much appreciated. I got plenty of time to watch. Might I also recommend Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. My husband also doesn't like anime, but Death Note and FMAB are the two he loves. 
and make sure you watch the Brotherhood version. There are two Full Metal Alchemist series, one made in 2003, one in 2006. The general opinion is that the 2006 version, Brotherhood, is better. I made this mistake not realizing there were two, 10 years ago. Although it did recently lead to a happy surprise when found out about the 2006 version and I realized I had a great series to watch. If planning to watch both 2003 is better to watch first though. This is true. The US version of Shameless. Till there's a different Shameless out there. UK I'm assuming. Yes the show is British and the US version is a remake. If you can find the UK version it's great though I suspect some of you guys might struggle with the accents. Does anyone know if the US version just copied the UK version, same situations, etc, etc. Or is it different? Because I have seen all the US versions episodes and don't want to see the same stuff in the UK version. I'm currently watching the UK Shameless and Lem tell you from everything I've heard they are essentially entirely different shows. Everything Robin Williams has done chronologically. Finishing up Dead Poets Society. Oh 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 really good idea. Breaking Bad. I never could get into that show. And I tried. Not sure how far into it you got. But I struggled to get into it initially too. There was a moment about 4 episodes and though that really hooked me though. And then I was watching it. Whenever I could. Until I finished it. Incredible show and it really does get better. Maybe not every owns cup of tea. But it recommended till the day I die. I've specifically saved watching Breaking Bad for the first time during a time like this. I know I'll be hooked. Breaking Bad. I have one and a half eps left. I need to rewatch it. I watched it for the first time. Two years ago. I think that was my soak it all in run. Now I have to watch it a second time to truly appreciate it. Yeah this is my rewatch. Except the first time I only got midway through season 5. I'm definitely appreciating it more and noticing things I didn't before. I would definitely recommend a rewatch. In Asia. That was the first anime I ever watched. So much nostalgia. Dexter, binge watching to know why it's ending, is the most disliked thing I have ever heard of. Best show ever, except for the end. Last season is main comparison to the rest. The season with the Trinity Killer is the best in home. In the sixth season. So far I have loved everything, except first few episodes of S5. Such a good show. I watch it usually once a year. I don't want to ruin anything for you but it definitely gets interesting around then. I'm hoping to be disappointed. So I think I'll not be disappointed. This might result in me being disappointed. Don't know let's see. Bojack Horseman. No spoilers. Snape kills Bojack. Reddit. Me too. Star Trek TNG for like the 10 bazillionth time. Hell yeah brother cheers from 10 forward. Dab Demuro car reviews on YouTube. It's a total waste of time, but I just can't stop watching them. The videos have a consistent format. This. Description. Quirks and features. Drive. Doubt score. Yet are so intriguing and endlessly addicting. And I'm not even a car person. That's quality entertainment. You ought to check out the Hydraulic Press channel. Edit. Spelling. Supernatural. I decided from the first season. Now I'm on season 3. You're in for a ride. I wish I could see it again for the first time. I watched it years ago. And I remember that I enjoyed it. And I can't remember why I stopped watching it. There are things like Castiel, which I'm super excited for. I'm a completionist. So I shall try to finish the series now. Just finished My Hero Academia. Got into it for a friend and I honestly don't regret it. Anim? Yeah. It's on Hulu if you're interested. Not me. But my son really likes Anim. The friend who got me into it watches it with her daughter. Atio I think. And it's one of their favorite things to do together. They also play the game together. Succession. Same. Just started episode 4. Just started through Toradora. So far, I'm liking it. Hell yeah. Golden Girls. Don't judge. See, Apple Plus series. I just finished Hunters on Amazon. 
No judgment here. The Golden Girls is one of the greatest sitcoms ever created. I remember watching the show with my grandma when some episodes were even premiering for the first time. Aside from some current events, humor it really hasn't dated much and touches on a lot of social issues that are relevant today. Plus it's funny as fuck. I've seen every episode at least a dozen times and I know the jokes inside and out and I still laugh out loud. The casting was impeccable and no one will ever be able to convince me that B. Arthur isn't the goat at comedic timing. I was raised on watching them. Too but I hadn't seen it for years. I was halfway through season 1 when I told a friend of mine this is why I'm such a smartest. I was partially raised by Dorothy, Rose, Blanche, and Sophia. Honestly? Steven Universe. I've been trying to get around to it for a while now, and I just realized that the first four seasons were on Hulu so I've almost gotten through five seasons in as many days lol. And it's so good. My kids used to watch that show. It's got great music. The music is fantastic. Formula 1, Drive to Serve if even, if you're not a racing fun and know nothing about it, like me when I started. It's incredibly interesting and well made. Hey, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.